try something a little bit more ambitious in the second half. We're going to tell you a completely improvised story with a lovely beginning, middle and end. It's going to be Oscar nominated, BAFTA award winning. What we need from you guys is a title for this made up story. So it could be anything, uh, not a real title like The Lord of the Rings. We want something like The Three Chickens That Had a Secret or Lights, <laughs> Camera, Death. Uh, any, you can throw anything out, we might combine the some together. The monkey ate a banana. The monkey ate a banana, nice start. The sea platypus that went on a bridge. The sea platypus who went on a bridge. Are you, everyone's recycling, I love it. Very nice. Anymore? I've always loved that caravan. I've always loved that caravan. And then someone here just said no. So I think we're going to combine those two. It's going to be, no, I always loved that caravan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the story of no, I always loved that caravan. John, he's not going to want to sell it. Well, he should sell it. He grew up in that caravan. I don't care if he grew up in that caravan, right? His job now, as a son, is to support his family. That's the northern way. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's in the northern code. Listen, my... Don't quote the northern code at me. My great-granddad... Arthur Scargill. <laughs> he wrote the bloody Northern Code. Right, he wrote, wrote the bloody Northern Code. You probably don't know who Arthur Scargill is, do you? He's a great writer. <laughs> a great Northern writer. <laughs> of speeches, yes. I remember when I was young, I read all of Arthur Scargill's books. <laughs> Arthur Scargill, leader of the trade union. <laughs> I remember it. I remember that manifesto. Don't shut down these mines because it's bad. It was simple and to the simple point. Simple to the point. <laughs> Powerful. And in the same way, I am being simple and to the point that our son is not selling that caravan. That has been in. <laughs> that caravan has been in our family for generations. And he wants to sell it now because he thinks he's a big shot, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about us? Here in the north. What about us? He's going to rehome us. Oh, is he now? Aye, in the south. In the south? In the south, John. Where? Where is he going to put us? I don't know, maybe on a beach somewhere nice, like Bournemouth. A beach or... in the south? Aye. Are you insane? <laughs> Not all beach. Blackpool isn't the only kind of beach, all right? There are all the nice beaches. There are no nice... other beaches. It's only Blackpool. You're wrong. What about Brighton with its pier? And its burnt down thing off to the side? It's a myth. South <laughs> Fake news. John, I've been there. Yeah, I know you haven't. I've been there looking at homes. I've been, I've been... You've been somewhere, somewhere else. I tell you now, Brighton Pier doesn't exist. Brighton doesn't <laughs> exist. It's not real. Brighton Pier exists, and so does the burnt down thing near it. So you don't even know what that mean... thing is. You just. I know. I don't know what it is. It's just burnt down. <laughs> exactly. But you know what I mean. I'm on Facebook too much. I'm <laughs> on that Facebook way too much, you know. Maybe I've not been on it enough. If I'd been on it earlier, maybe I'd have seen the world of opportunity, John. It's a world of opportunity out there. Past, you know, if you were past the M25, <laughs> below the Watford Gap, that's where the North begins. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> anyway, when did our son start getting into your head? Huh? He went to university in that there London. <laughs> I knew that was a mistake. So did media studies. <laughs> so me. <laughs> oh, good thing I didn't try and sit down, man. <laughs> that was damn close. You know, living in London, it can be hard. I can't really afford any furniture, but at least I get to hang out with my best pal, Jericho. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So good, so oh, good. Yeah, so great. I love it. I feel so like I'm great. proper Londoner now. Are you are like, have you seen the Like, have you seen the futon? No. There's a futon in there. <laughs> it's like a bed, but less. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, come on. This film project we're all coming up. Yeah. I'm really excited. I've got some funds for it coming up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm selling the caravan I grew up in. <laughs> You've got the funds. I'm going to get the funds. We're going to sell the caravan. Oh Basically, it's going to happen because technically it's mine. Oh great, great granddad oh left it to me, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh, Grampy Skargy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And you're going to be the star of this film, oh Jericho. My, yes. I, I mean, look, look at your energy. <laughs> you want a red stripe? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> best beer. Best yeah, beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you first came here, yeah. I was like, uh, who's this? I know. You know, you came here, you brought a series of loud women back <laughs> from back, you know? And I was like, oh, oh, oh. And then, you know, it's just like, it's like you. Uh, I'm home. I feel I'm finally home. You know, I know I was born up north above the Watford Gap. Yeah. You know, my, my dad didn't even believe Shoreditch existed. <laughs> it was like, who would name a place Shoreditch? Those are two different types of geography. <laughs> Shore and the ditch, that's just silly. <laughs> and now here we are, we're, here we're in the Shoreditch right now. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, yeah Jerrica. We're actually going to need more money. Uh, what, well, a lot of sold the caravan, yeah. I, mean, yeah, but... I, I don't know how much I'm going to get for it. Well, you know, however much money you're getting, we're, we're going to need more. <laughs> <laughs> the budget's increased, well, isn't it? Well, because it's art. It is art. Yeah, yeah. and art's very important. I remember that from our media studies degree. Yeah, yeah which we're doing now. <laughs> we're, we're still doing it. I am. Oh. Are you not doing I it? I thought we graduate. I failed several times. <laughs> you keep going, because you're going to be a star. Look at you. Look at you with that face and that bod and that. You know, one time I was saying to Timothy Chalamet, <laughs> I was saying to him, hey, I've got everything you've got, but I've also got several more teeth. <laughs> was this a Sarah uh -huh? It was a Sarah uh -huh. I love Sarah uh -huh. Yeah, and he said, he did, well, he turned away. Oh. But I really think it sunk in. Because <laughs> when I saw him in Little Women, <laughs> I could see the doubt. Do you write about Granny Gerber? Granny Gerber. Granny Gerber. By the way, I have seen my doctor, and he's very concerned <laughs> about my speech and poem. It's okay, okay, all right, how much more money do we need? I can find some ways of making money, you know? Well, you know that my family owes money. Yeah. And, you know, new money is not the same as old money. What's the difference between new money and old money? People respect old money. Oh, so you're saying you're going to bring some of your old money into the film? Yeah. <laughs> Old money doesn't bring money. <laughs> Old money receives money. Huh? Or gifts. Or horses. <laughs> Remember what they say. In the look a gift horse in the mouth, <laughs> you might find another gift horse. <laughs> <laughs> Caravan's going nowhere. That's right. It's me. Scargill. Ah, it's Scargill. <laughs> Scargill. Thought you were dead. You can't kill a union leader. <laughs> they won't let us die. Scargill, it's not part of the union contract. <sighs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the you, fuck was that? That's what it was the salute, it's what you all used to do. We were part of the fucking village, people. What the hell was that? I, I, no, I, I knew it. That's what my dad told me. He said that was what. Your dad? No. It's like you're trying to play bop it on yourself. <laughs> Listen, give me a chair. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is better than the last, eh? Oh, no. Oh, you know. <laughs> I know you're upset about your son selling the caravan. Margaret told you. Well, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I've just locked it. I just locked it away. It's got wheels. <laughs> I know it's got wheels, but I just locked it away in the garage. Garage in the garage. <laughs> Sound a little bit southern there. No, no! <laughs> that was the salute. There you go. Oh, that's it. Of course, I remember it now. That was a different thing. <laughs> Hello! There we go! Trade Union! <laughs> yeah. We didn't say trade union like we were some fucking Pokemon. Are you right? Oh, that's it! Okay, alright, I just. You have to realise that no matter how hard you try, you can't fight change. What 
he talking about? <laughs> you fought change. There you were. Have you seen any mines recently? <laughs> I know Rishi Sunak said he was opening one this year for some fucked up reason. <laughs> no, I haven't, but if, if it wasn't for you, it, it would have happened earlier. It would have happened sooner. Yeah. And you stood strong, and in the same way, I am standing strong with my caravan. If you stand in the river, the current may flow a bit. <laughs> Less. <laughs> Only a beaver can make a dam. <laughs> was that like a three-parter? <laughs> it was one of my haikus. <laughs> simple and to the point as always. Simple and to the point. Very simple and to the point. <laughs> Look, it, the caravan belongs to your son. I mean, if he wants to sell it, he can. If you want to persuade him otherwise, you're going to have to dig deep. Like in a mine. <laughs> You're gonna have to find the coal of his soul that that southern big smoke has turned his heart into. And you're gonna have to apply pressure and create a northern diamond. <laughs> a northern diamond. You have to convince your son. Convince your son. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hitchhiker? You want to come down to London? Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, how, how much to go and take? Hey, I'm going up? down there myself, you know, first time I've been down south. Well, I come from a different south. <laughs> Where are you from? South of America. That's a myth. Well, I say... <laughs> Exist. Certain a lot of myths in the south of the state, you know, about civil war and all that sort of stuff. But come on, jump in now. Oh, all right. <laughs> Go and get the other half of my car. <laughs> I drive an American car, even though I'm in England. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I was going going down to see my son to try and convince him to not sell the caravan for his. He's making a move there. Caravan? Yeah. What's a caravan? <laughs> Uh, it's like this car. Yeah, but it's just a bit longer. Like a bus? No, not quite. Not quite. Well, a bit like a, a bit like. Like a, a Winnebago. <laughs> yeah, like a Winnebago. Yeah. Oh, I see. Our family had a Winnebago, you know, for quite some time. Oh yeah. Children, eh? What, yeah. what happened to your Winnebago? It exploded. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's something to do with petrol and diesel and uh, drinking. <laughs> My son never forgave me for blowing up that Winnebago. <laughs> Ain't it because I was inside the Winnebago at the time? <laughs> he died. No, no, he lied. Oh, horribly scarred. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're saying that even though you, you held on tight, you... You had to let go of your son. <laughs> well, I, I tried not to let go, but he was pretty mad at me, you know. I, and I, you know, I, you know you, what you gotta do is you gotta realize that even as parents, we make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> and we gotta realize they're not children anymore. We gotta talk to them like adults. Yeah, but don't you, what, what, but do you think about tradition and passing things down through the ages? That's important. I'm American. Our oldest tradition is 250 years old. <laughs> <laughs> New things can be good. Change can be good. Some change can be bad. <laughs> this is us here. We're in London. <laughs> that was a shot. <laughs> How long have you been walking down that motorway for? Uh, long, really long time. All right, well, yeah. I, hope, I hope you and your son make it up. Yeah, so do I. And uh, good luck. I hope your son's... Will we better later on? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to a caravan hut where we buy your caravans. <laughs> Come on in, sell all the caravans you have. Uh, yeah, hi, hi I'm, I'm here to sell a caravan. Ah, <laughs> splendid. Do you have it on you? Uh, no, it's, actually, it's, it's up north. Oh. But uh, I know where it is. Like, like, if you've got a driver guy, he can go pick it up. I can give you the keys. Yes, our fingers stretch 
Very far, very far. Don't they? Would you be able to drive? Yes! <laughs> very good at driving, I am. A full set of hands. <laughs> this is full set of hands. He's more than willing to drive. Right, I will. Full set of oh, hands. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Listen, I know, uh, like, on, on, on the emails, like, you said you could give me, like, uh, like, like a grand for it, but, you know, I'm actually, I'm actually an artist. Do you guys like art? Uh, <sighs> yes or no? <laughs> mm. uh, so, uh, basically, I'm, I'm making a film, and what I was thinking was, you know, if you want to, like, give me five grand for the caravan, we will put you in the credits of the film. Five grand what? <laughs> Grandfather clocks! No, like 5,000. 5,000 pounds. 5,000 5, what? Pounds. Oh, right, I didn't hear. I'll put your name in the credits, and like, everyone who sees my movie is going to be great. I've got like, the new Tillamithy Chalamet in it. He's named Jericho, he's really good. Uh, and then like, everyone's going to be like, oh my god, if I need to sell a caravan, that's where I'm going to go. Special thanks to you two. <laughs> what do you guys think? I wasn't listening, were you? <laughs> he wants to put our name in the credits. Uh, he well, thinks for, for, we for, need for, help. Yes? For four or five grand. It's like sponsorship sort of thing. For four or five grand. For four or five grand. For 45 grand. grand. No, no, no. You give me five grand. Yes. I'll give you a caravan. Yes. And I'll put your name in the credits of the film. Credits of what film? Uh, the new uh, like our house film that me and my friend Jericho are doing it. Hmm. A film in our house. I've always... We're not filming it in your house. What? <laughs> I've always wanted to be captured. Oh, you have such a pretty face. Yes. <laughs> Ever since I got this face, I wanted it on film. It's so recent. My love slash brother. Oh. Oh. Guys, I mean, there's not a, a role for you in the film. But certainly, if you want to be like extras for a day, you can come. You don't and... have catering. There's no rules in the film. Oh. Oh. We're hungry. We need to eat. So hungry. <laughs> no, of course, there'll be catering. But I'm saying, like, we just like put you in like the background of the scene. You, know, like, you can be extras in it. I mean, I think that might be like fun for you guys. Do you say we're quite extra? <laughs> I would love to be back in the ground. <laughs> We'll do it! Yes! Oh, fantastic! Lots of hands! <laughs> Lots of hands! Caravan Hutch! Hutch! Caravan Hutch! Hutch. <laughs> Here are the keys. Uh, yeah, you just go pick it up north and uh, we'll make some movie magic together. Here's the money. You keep... Are you wearing a bra? <laughs> oh, here's the money. That's the money I'm just itching. <laughs> In days, it's a mirage. Wake up, Northerner. Wake up. Wake up to London. Ah. Wow, <laughs> London. The money in. Dad. What are you doing in Shoreditch? I thought you didn't believe it existed. <laughs> I uh, suspended my disbelief and I came down. Right. To find you. Nice to see you. Yeah. I kept asking you to come visit you. He didn't. He didn't. I heard that. <laughs> you heard? You heard nothing? Okay, this is how I sound now, all right? So this is how you sound, is it? Is this for your movie? Yeah, we're making a movie. I actually got five grand from selling the caravan. <laughs> Go on, tell me. What's this movie about? Well, it's like a coming-of-age piece. It's like a guy who, like, leaves... Uh, his home planet and finds another one. Next and... channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would happen if I saw a film like that come on the TV with your mother. Next channel. Yeah, I know. Give you... me something else. I know you would. Give me something else. Uh, okay, uh, there's like uh, a skyscraper and like a skyscraper next channel. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, Dad. Oh, oh, it's, it's it's set in a small northern town and there's a problem with mining, so they start a breakdancing band for some reason. 
Are those the only movies you like? It's the only movies that matter to us. Not to me anymore. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> You're morphing. You're morphing. I'm suppressing. I'm suppressing my my northerners. Okay, I, I, it's not me anymore. I've, I've got the money now. Uh, two really creepy guys that can go pick up the caravan, and I'm making this movie with Jericho. I resent the description of me as creepy. I want to be going up north. I'm on my way. <laughs> a ghost of Arthur Scargill appeared to me. <laughs> Granddad! You, you knew? <laughs> yeah, I knew Granddad. It's quite a big part of my childhood. It's like, okay, alright, okay. <laughs> it's all right, He's been dead for ages, though. You saw his ghost? He came to me while I was, while I was trying to, while I locked up the garage. You locked the garage? I didn't give him the garage keys. Well, they're fucked, aren't they? <laughs> You're not going to stand in the way of my dreams, Dad, okay? Why do you have to be so, like, nowhere outside the North exists? There's a whole world out there. Mum wanted to see it. You get her locked up. <laughs> like a caravan in a garage. Not, not physically, but emotionally. <laughs> I went down to... London, many, many years ago. Oh, it was a flashback. <laughs> I uh, used to have a small video camera. <laughs> Adding elements, new elements quite late in this story, aren't we? <laughs> Go on! <laughs> It was a neo-realist documentary. That's right, I know about neo-realism. What is it? <laughs> That's what I was trying to find out. <laughs> what it meant to be newer than the whatever the realist. The, the reality. <laughs> I never found out. The film was a failure. It got reviewed. One star. Oh. <laughs> Who from? Arthur Scarfield. <laughs> Granddad used to be a film critic. This goes so deep. <laughs> like a mine. Like, like a mine. And I vowed from that day never to go back to London again. And I was going to stay, stay there, stay in the north. What brought you down here this time? My son. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to achieve what you couldn't. Is that upset you? You, you see me as and think, oh, it's not going to work out for him because it didn't work out for you. Well, maybe if you supported me, it would. Support? What kind of support would you like? You gave me such a hard time about selling the caravan. Yeah? I would have liked some support in selling the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> we start shooting tomorrow. I, I, you know, I, I've got the five, I suppose I've got the five grand, so maybe there are no stakes left. <laughs> but if he comes back and he can't get the caravan, no that's stakes. the end of the film. No stakes. I met an American on the way. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me an idea. <laughs> I went back. Planted a bomb inside the car. <laughs> Put a bomb in the car. <laughs> no, yes. Here I am. With the garage, with the caravan. Here I am. Here I am. It appears the door is locked. Oh dear. <laughs> Why would you blow up the... You didn't want me to sell the caravan, but you're okay blowing up the caravan. Don't no, crush your dreams as they crushed mine. Who crushed yours? London. <laughs> Why would you try and crush your own son's dreams? What the fuck is wrong with you? I can't do it. Good. <laughs> Make your film. Wait a minute. What if this is the film? 
Mazel tov. <laughs> You've got cameras. And cut. <laughs> I know you always wanted to make that film, Dad. The ghost of Arthur Scargill came and haunted me too. He told me about you. Your young teenage dreams, and I thought, you know, I'd make them come true too. I'm, I'm so sorry to, you know, interrupt. Um, and, you know, I, I just want to say, I know it's last minute, but replacing me as the lead with. I was, I, <laughs> this is Jericho. Jericho. <laughs> He's got some sort of debilitating health condition. <laughs> I will. I'm not going to be alive to see this in <laughs> The doctor said, I've got like four months and this was my only chance, yeah? To like, make something of myself, but I'm glad that I was pushed aside. <laughs> Sorry, there was a plane coming over here. Can you do your emotional plea again, please? <laughs> I'm not going to still be here. When Son, this is it. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Jericho. <sighs> Hopefully I'll see you once more, but oh, there no, go. Okay. 